I met a gypsy. Dude, the other insanely cool moment to come out of it was uh, seeing you give um, Kalane's Red Bull helmet. That was uh, that was pretty dope. And also, that's probably another little you know milestone within the whole free ride world because um, that is the next generation. Like that's Red Bull literally making a claim of like who the 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 future is of of this sport you know yeah man absolutely that was like it was so special to be able to be that dude like i've 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 met that kid five years ago like he's only been riding for six seven years now like he's young he started when he was eight he's 13 like he's he hasn't been riding that long and the kids just got it he's creative he comes from a really well like family and they they're just grounded in in film and photography really so um just the fact that like he's he's got it at a young age and he sees it and like ultimately at the end of the day like I was a racer too that was my ultimate goal my whole life was I wanted to be on the line the supercross main event right and if that's he's 13 years old he's still racing if he want if that's what he wants to do I'm not going to tell him to not do that like do it as long as he can but just the fact of him hanging around us and and riding with us and just being 180 and stepping out of his comfort zone and like he's he's just got it so i pushed really hard to to get him on and and it's just cool to see like red bull can see you know see that they saw it in me before i saw it in myself and then now being able to do that and give give back to the next generation and ultimately like he you know he shows up to imagination he hits one of the craziest jumps I've seen on a, on an 80 for sure, like taller jumps, maybe not the biggest distance wise, but it was massive dude. And then him throwing knack knacks and teaching him how to hit the ramp and seat bouncing the ramp now. And like, he's just progressing quickly. And I think it just, it's cool that Red Bulls sees that in him. And, and, you know, it's like kind of my little, my little grom, my little mini me. Like if I'm just keep pushing him in the right direction of of enjoying what you do and yeah like you can still go race you can still go do this you can still go do that but like ultimately let's just create content and just breeding the little homie you know so for for my standpoint like i'm my own agent so when i was doing the red bull deal and back and forth between red bull and weed maps like i i knew that that was coming right i'd always seen other action sports and people get presented with a helmet and surprise and it's like that is like so heartfelt you know what i mean like that's just a kid's dream come true but i i worked on my deal myself so i kind of knew it was coming right so i didn't really get to have that opportunity so to be the one to be able to do that for the next generation was was so sick man it was so cool we like kind of hid his helmet from him and told him like just let him just get more and more frustrated and freaking out he was like looking for his helmet for two hours running around all the filmers and everyone around like where's my helmet where's my helmet have you seen my helmet and we just let it build and build and build and build and i just slowly walked out of the motorhome nonchalant and like hey nah found your helmet buddy and he's like yes and like didn't even know and i like slowly unzipped it and pulled it out and he's just like no way like no way I'm really like, yeah, the back sit says yeah nah and he, i was like yeah homie i was like i'm proud of you like you earned it you know and then he just instantly started crying just that like raw emotion you know of making it like a kid's dreams come true is like so rad and for that to be in the middle of the most hectic week i've ever had on two wheels was was like icing on the cake so just to see him do that and then see him put the helmet on and then just see him just instantly just step out of his comfort zone and start and hit that big double and like it was just so cool man and and the kids got it so just gonna keep pushing him in the right direction with whatever he wants to do i'm not gonna force him to do one thing or the other like i'm here for him and whatever he wants to do but um i think you know if i if i had that mindset when i was 13 like i would you know, like sky could be the limit and that's, that's just ultimately what it is for him. So, um, last year after imagination one, I came back and he got a new house and had a few acres and i went and designed a mini imagination course in his backyard. That's like a super cross section that ties in with like a free ride section and a ramp. And like the kids just got, got everything at his fingertips and he just, you know, just keep, just keep going, keep going. Nah, stoked to stoke to be the one to, to lead the way for you 
So he had no idea that he had a Red Bull deal. Um, no, not really. I know, like we uh, we've been trying to work on it for a while, but you know, like with energy drinks and being young and and whatnot, like they can't really promote kids that young until they're a little older. So it was a lot of back and forth. But we literally, like Steve Steve Shearer, my Red Bull team manager, he's um. He was working tirelessly on it, and he finally got it green-lighted Monday night, and uh, we already had the helmet and stuff, so um, yeah, Tuesday I was able to give it to him, and as soon as it was green-lighted, it was like, it's on, so um, the kids just ultimately, like I said, like Red Bull's not going to be able to promote him for a little bit, but he does it on his own, you know, he 100% does it all on his own, he goes, gets all these clips during the day, and he goes home, and puts him on the computer and edits his own clips together and like dude there's just not a lot of kids doing doing that at his age so it's cool to see red bull take notice and and just ultimately like pave the way for the next generation like these these kids are coming up or no joke so um yeah stoked to be stoked to be like a it's like, I'm like proud dad you know <laughs> yeah yeah well i mean it, it is super cool and and uh you know like he i've been following him for a while like i'm a fan of him um but you know like he hurt his knee recently so it's like you know we've already kind of got to see him battle through an injury and he fuck he passed that test like he killed it um didn't lose his stoke and was like at all the events like he still like it, it is really cool to see a kid that's that young i thought he was a little bit older to be honest but um yeah to be to be that young and then like the family background that he's got like he's watched his dad create like insane content so he he gets it you know like he obviously gets it from a young age and it's like it's going to be pretty crazy to watch and i mean i think everyone's probably the knee-jerk reaction like that would have been so random to be like damn they give a kid a red bull helmet but then to like to then you see as soon as he put that helmet on to go and hit that jump you're like ah that's why because like yeah. give a kid you know what I mean? like there's no one else doing that yeah and then you know you can you literally give the kid wings like he, that that belief you know you get a deal with red bull that's like that's basically like somebody saying oh yeah no you can do this so here go do it you yeah. know like because until then yeah. you know you'd be like hoping and thinking you can do it so imagine being that young getting the green light like you said and then you know it's just like all right now this is real now dedicate your life to this and see what you can do yep absolutely it's just yeah having that platform behind you and people believing in you and it ultimately you know like i'm not the best under pressure i don't think but being able to be on red bull and learn how to deal with that pressure and channel it into positive energy is like there's something to be said about that you know you can't put that into words so just the fact that like someone believes in you that much and it just lights a fire under your ass to just stokes you that much more to go out and just do do just be the best of your ability you know and it's funny that that you say that like you put the helmet on and just instantly like he's like oh they they gave him wings like dude he hit that moon booter and like going into it i was like it's such a big jump and it's so tall that like he has a tendency to hit stuff like with a more momentum and kind of lug through it. And he was like, Hey, I want to hit this. I want to hit this. And like, you know, we're filming trying to get our practice in. And I was like, Oh, like, nah, like I love you, homie. But like, maybe now is not the time. Cause we're like, we had 12 guys and we had to split it between two six man groups. So we could ultimately get the footage and it not be too chaotic. So he was kind of rolling up to it, rolling up to it. And I was like, Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then Jason Baker came up to me and he's like, Hey, if he's rolling up to that thing, if you better go tell him if he hits it, he better freaking hit it. Like don't pussyfoot it 100%. Just freaking power through that thing. Cause he's going to lose so much more speed with those little wheels and the small bike up it. So I went and told him, I was like, Hey, like maybe now's not the time. And he ran up to it a few more times and I came up to him. I'm like, nah, I'm like, follow me, like hit this thing off to the side and land on the side of the jump. And he's like, I'd rather just hit it straight. And I was like, all right. I was like, look, I'm not telling you this, all this stuff to like, that I don't think you can do it. I know you can do it. But I was like, do not pussyfoot it. Just like, 
if, do not hesitate. Like when in doubt, give it more than you think. Cause you're going to lose so much more speed than us up, up the lip. We're hitting it in second, just cruising and you have to hit it in fourth. So he, when he told me that he's like, Oh, I'm just, I don't like, I just want to hit it straight. And I was like, all right, listen to me. If as long as you do this, like you got it, I trust you. So comes back around and I'm like, all right, like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to follow you. And I didn't want to jump it behind him just in case anything happened. So I followed him and I went just to the right of the jump. And as soon as he left the lip, I was like, oh, he's got it. You know? And I just fucking bah, bah, da, 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 like, <laughs> yot, 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 like just so pumped for him, you know? And then we roll back around. He like, you know, he comes through and like every, every single person there on the ground is just like, yeah, no, you know, just so pumped for him. And just to like face his fears like that, but then he rolls back up and he stops and he like pulls his goggles off and he just like so nonchalantly in front of everybody, like, well, I guess Red Bull does give you wings. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> hell yeah. It's like you just something to be said. You put that helmet on and it just gives you that extra amount of confidence, you know? And, and uh, yeah, man, just so stoked for the kid and, and uh, stoked to be there to mentor him and, and just push him in the right direction and ultimately whatever he wants to do. But, you know, whatever he's doing, keep it fun. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.